Yeah, Dr. Santoshi, please upload the slides. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sure. Is it visible, sir? Yeah, yeah. We are the screen is showing. Can you uh, please on the uh, yeah and increase the volume so that the others call me Mother Nature. I've been here for over four and a half billion years. Twenty-two thousand. 500 times longer than you. I don't really need people, but people need me. Yes, your future depends on me. When I thrive, you thrive. When I falter, you falter. Four wolves. But I've been here for eons. I have fed species greater than you, and I have starved species greater than you. My oceans, my soil, my forests, they all can take you or leave you. How you choose to live each day, whether you regard or disregard me, doesn't really matter to me. One way or the other, your actions will determine your fate. Not me, I'm in nature. I will go home. I am prepared to evolve. Are you? This film, how important it has been in the in our present two years. Nature does not need people. People need nature. How in this pandemic we have seen this. Why I show this film is, you know, we are very, very small in the whole system of things. We are here to talk about plastic and its role and its sustainability in 2022. How do we go from here? Nothing is compromised in front of nature. We are nature. We have to do our part for nature. And begin a new road as and travel a new path as we move ahead in 2022. Can I please request to play the slideshow, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So being the introductory lecture, I am going to cover a general overview of everything. The detailed, uh, you know, the details program has focus on the various techniques and details in recycling. I'm going to give you an overview and what as various the stakeholders slide. we have slide. to do in 2022. We're not able to see ma'am. Yes, we can see it now. And uh, I'm going to request you to please uh, when say when I say next, I request you to please put the next uh, slide yes. on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'll do that. Uh, can you unmute? Uh, can you unmute somebody because there's some background noise is coming. Yeah, uh, I request everyone to mute yourself. I think. Uh, Sandeep Thakur, sir. Uh, so please, it's a request to mute yourself. Okay, plastics, sir. plastics at crossroads in 2022. Where do we go from here? Is it this way, that way, or another way? At the end of the presentation, perhaps we will find our way. 
Next, please. Plastics at crossroads. How do we go from here? Is it this way, that way, or another way? At the end of the presentation, perhaps we will be able to find our way. Next, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's stuck in. So is it changing? No, it's the first slide only, ma'am. Not yet. A technology like you know has played a, a, a very different role here you know it, we are all facing these issues but you know that is the way it is it, it, it is it is it is you know the pandemic has taught us something in the last two years of what we have been you know one small virus one ten thousand the size of a full stop has put a break on our lives ganges became clear the pollution reduced a lot and things started to change in the times when everybody was locked home we were locked home but our Pollution was reduced, and at the same time, our waste was not locked at home. The waste increased. The waste increased. The burden of waste and medical waste increase. This is the first slide, and some hard truths. You know, the 2021 began as a new decade, and uh, uh, can you play the slide from number two, please? Can everybody see the slides? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, confronting the global crisis waste, you know, this is the uh, title of the geographical, a magazine uh, which is published from UK. The January issue of 2021 had this, the global crisis that will haunt us in the waste management in this decade and it will stay for us to the times to come and it is time for us to act in some way or the another next please next slide please every year india produces 9.25 million metric tons of plastic waste that is 775 times the Taj Mahal or 14,023, 14 lakhs into 23,000 is the size of the minar or 660 times the is the That is the waste of plastics produced and equivalent to so many monuments that is the enormity of the problem next please challenges for the plastic management globally no plastic waste is growing at an annual rate of nine percent globally by 2040 there will be 1.3 billion tons of plastics waste present in the environment globally only 14 percent of the world plastic has been recycled and 75 percent half plastic pro has turned to waste every single person uses 700 plastic bags per year the number of plastic bags is increasing 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 
the number of plastic bottles used per day exceeds 100 billion. By 2050, there will be more fish, rather, there will be more plastic in the ocean than the fish. That is the size of this problem, a global problem which everyone has to face. And as leaders, we, we are who shape the minds of people. We have to imbibe our generations of this. Next, please. As I mentioned earlier, you and me were locked out. Locked out, locked in, in our homes. But they were not. That's the <clears throat> question. Why avoiding waste generation is as important as social distancing. How the waste knows no social distancing in it and it has piled up, piled up, piled up, piled up. Next, please. <coughs> I am going to tell you a story, a story of the plastic from the birth to its ban. Polyethylene, the basic material created to form the plastic bag, was created by accident at a chemical plant in England. Subsequently, it was industrially synthesized and used by the British military during World War II. Next, please. In 1965, the one-piece polyethylene shopping bag was patented by a Swedish company. And the engineer who designed it was Stein Gustav Tulin. And this quickly began to replace cloth and plastic, whatever in earlier forms it was used in Europe. And plastic was the preferred choice of the bag rather than the cloth bags in the era of 1965. Next, please. <coughs> in 1979, 80% of the bag market in uh, 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 Europe was of the plastic bags. Then the same bags went abroad to the United States and plastics began Excuse me, sir. You are muted. I cannot hear you. Uh, uh, there is one more request that you use the slide share. I think meaning in slide mode. Uh, in slide share mode so that the uh, uh, slides can be more bigger. This is in slide share only. Okay, well, can everybody see the slides? Yes, sir. Okay. So the in nineteen seventy nine, I'm repeating the eighty percent of the black mark uh, back market was by plastics and aggressively. Madam, please press five, uh, F5. I think. No, sir. OK. And uh, uh, by 1980s and 90s, the amount of plastic bags reused replaced the paper bags around the world. Next, please. That was the time when Stein Gustav Tolin's Raul told the BBC, to my dad, the idea that people would simply throw this away would be bizarre. Look at this, the inventor of the plastic bag saying, 
he would carry a bag around with him and reuse it. The, the principles of recycle of the bags and of not littering were imbibed in the those times where the invention took place. But unfortunately, we forgot that. And the story of littering has began since then, when the story of the plastic bag began. Next, please. Next slide, please. According to the National Geographic in 2018, shoppers in the United States used one plastic bag per resident per day. But in, in Denmark, it was an average of four plastic bags a year. And today, they are produced at a rate of one trillion a year. No doubt, this is going to create a story of littering like never before. And we are drowned in this. Next, please. And it is here in the on the mountains, in the oceans, on the lands, and now the sinus sinusaur of the ice. There are plastics is everywhere. And there is an old saying which is very nice, you know, plastics do not litter, but people do. But we have forgotten that and start the littering story is more bad than the plastics that it is produced. Next, please. So who is responsible? Human being or plastics? Plastics came into existence hardly a hundred years ago. Humans came into existence millions of years ago. We had the Stone Age, the Ice Age. Now we have what is called so-called the Plastic Age. But who is to blame? The materials of convenience became the materials of trouble. Next, please. Again, some hard truths here. The amount of plastic bags is expected to nearly triple by 2040. By 2050, they say there will be more plastic in the ocean than the fish. A small joke here, anecdote. Someone goes to buy fish in a market. I, uh, Eastern side of India is very fond of fish. And that uh, person asked the fish vendor to give him or her a plastic bag to carry the fish. The vendor says, oh, sir, don't worry. Uh, we don't, we don't need a plastic bag. The plastic is already in the fish. That is the sad story. The plastic which has been littered in the ocean is eaten by the fish. And the same fish we get home to cook. And it enters our system as microplastics. Next, please. Some hard truths. Albert Einstein had said, the environment is everything that isn't me. That's the story. You know, we think of every environment, but I don't want that litter against with me. Putting the waste is other person's responsibility. Even though I've created a waste, it is people say it is the job of the government or the corporation to pick it up. It is not my job. And that is the hard truth of today. Next, please. Look at the size of the plastic pollution here. Here is the map of India, where, you know, the map depicting how much produced plastic is there per city or per town. 
uh, I think this is not visible, but I would request the organizers to share the presentation with our colleagues so that they can have a look at it better. Look at this, how every big city or town, the amount of plastic created. That is alarming. Next, please. And some comparisons here. How many times do you need to use a bag to make it more environmentally friendly than a single use plastic bag? Look at this. That is the number of reuses. A cotton bag will have to be used 120 times before it can be uh, made environmentally viable. The paper bag can be used very, very, very minute number of times. And the plastics has to be, you know, we just say use and throw, but how can we justify it? Next, please. Then comes to the basic question. Can we really live without plastics? You know, as the influencers, as the teachers, as the source of information. One has to take a balanced view when we talk about plastics. I'm in a plastics industry. I'm not here to promote plastics, but I'm here to promote the correct use of plastics and its waste management. Next, please. You know, it's time that we know our plastics. Plastics are in seven categories. The first category is PET, that is polyethylene terphthalate, widely known for making bottles of uh, water. You know, there is an interesting story which I would like to tell you here. You know, whenever you see a plastic bottle here, you see best before six months, this plastic bottle, written on it somewhere. The best before is not for the water. The water has no expiry date. It is the expiry date of the bottle. This bottle should not have water in it for more than six months. Other words, it will contaminate the water inside. That is the lesson. Unfortunately, we have not uh, uh, listened to that lesson and started to ban this. You know, plastics. These type of bottles are single use or only one or two times. In a country like India, we use it multiple times. It is not at all recommended to use these bottles of uh, water. What we normally, the trade name is bislery and uh, what we say, uh, the packaged uh, mineral water. Those bottles are not meant to be used for many times. But in India, we keep on using it different times. There are good quality water bottles that can be used. Those are made of food grade and multiple use times, but not this. The second material here is HDPE. High density polyethylene. These are the materials which are used to make a variety of uh, products like chairs. The third one is PVC, plastics made for, you know, pipes and sheets. Then comes LDP, low density polyethylene or the material that is used mainly for the bags, the bags of plastic, which are used for packaging of foods and packaging of uh, milk. Then comes PP, sanitizer bottles and a number of products and for pens and such things. Then it's polystyrene. Thermocol is a trade name of polystyrene. The cups, the trays, they are made of polystyrene. Number seven is that category which does not include all the above classified plastics. It includes plastics like MLP. MLP is multi-layered plastics. Multi-layered plastics are plastics which have a layer of metal, like wafer packaging and such, which are difficult to recycle. And they fall in the category of number seven. Next, please. Uh, 
again, point. So, how does plastic packaging dominate the most consumption? Look at that. 42% of the plastic ever produced is for flexible packaging. Flexible packaging is packaging of wafers and uh, biscuits, and that is flexible. Rigid packaging is packaging for like containers. Agriculture use is 9%, household use is 7%, building and construction is 5%, others is 3%. So the major packaging is for flexible and rigid packaging and that is also the packaging which creates the maximum of pollution because it is littered next please this is a story during the early times of this pandemic from a municipal corporation in maharashtra ratnagiri konkan the FMCG sector and the online shopping center shopping received a huge demand for their consumable products during the times of the pandemic. And during the period of 2020 February to June, a massive 117 percent increase in the sales was that. And that massive increase in sales also saw the, saw the massive littering of the plastics my earlier slide we were locked in but our garbage was locked and littered that time and the waste warriors not the waste pickers they came out and collected the waste and the plastics that we created during the pandemic times next please You know how uh, the changing role of plastics has been responsible for consuming from the shifting of the traditional packaging from glass and metal. Earlier, medic milk and oil was in glass and metal. Now we have the trend of three to five layer pouches. The milk package which we see is not an ordinary one layer package. It is a package of seven or five layer multi-layer packaging the soaps and the shampoos were earlier in paper and glass now we see in, in films and pouches of plastics the cement and fertilizer was in jute now we have the woven sacks from the materials of pp and hdpe the toothpaste was in metal now it is a plastic laminate next please life was much 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 simpler you know when our olden times and our younger times we used to go to the local kirana shop and pick up what we wanted the provisions and take it and pack it in our cotton bags and then get it home next please but this led to this this is the next wave of human evolution and the packaging evolution where the same groceries were available in packaged format which has many advantages because food was not gone to waste and the packaging provided a good shelf life for these products next please but 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 this led to this the ever growing eyesight what we see the littering of the plastics anywhere and everywhere next please next please one should be asking us ourselves the question in during, during these times when we have a product made uh, let us begin with the product itself then the packaging is the product safe for me? Is the product made from the lowest impact on planet resources? What will happen to the product? I'm not talking here of the product what we consume, but the packaging or the product which we use and then discard. What will happen to the product after its use? And where will that product, which is not food, end up finally? These are the questions of today which we face and we need to ask ourselves and we need to answer them ourselves. Next, please. 
plastics is the solution plastics is also the problem plastics do not litter people do plastics is the part of pollution and not problem but the solution next please who is really responsible for the mess the cow wants to eat the plastic no never cow is not interested in plastic it doesn't know what plastic it is it is our our bad point that we put the food in that plastic the leftover food you know think of waste you know you are having lunch time it's lunch around 12 30 or so lunch on the table is food for a moment lunch left out after we have consumed is waste at the other moment see the transition of the food to the waste in just a moment after the lunch is over and that lunch or un consumed food is then put in the plastic bag and th- perhaps put in a in a uh, basket or perhaps thrown on the road and the cow eats it and then we say cow has eaten plastic and then we have to face the repercussions of that next please that is what is called as the conundrum plastic waste management the difficulty who will do it who will solve the problems it is mine yours or only yours or mine that is the plastic problem next please so the famous rs here reduce reuse recycle one has to come beyond all these rs and now think of how to really improve these rs next please i am going to tell you a story of this human behavior a story perhaps we have heard in our earlier days there are four people by the name of everybody somebody nobody and anybody an important task was given to all these four people and these four people are the you know organizations who are involved everybody that is the plastic fraternity somebody that is the government the environment or the ngo anybody that the professional recycling companies and nobody that is the common man these were given the task and Now the littering was there somewhere, and everybody thought that somebody would do it. Rather, everybody was sure that somebody would do it. Anybody would have done it, but nobody did it. Somebody got angry because it was everybody's job. Everybody thought that anybody would do it, but nobody realized it is everybody's job. That is what is the plastics conundrum. it ended up that everybody blamed blame somebody when nobody did that anybody could have done that is the plastic story blame game of each other and no wonder that plastic waste management rules got formed and being implemented and people getting penalized for that next please packaging design you know Uh, any product produced the first impression is packaging design people see the design of the packaging and get attracted towards it so you know that is important and now things are being made that you know the you know to reduce the packaging itself we, we see we get online products from amazon and flipkart the amount of packaging is 10 times more than the product that is called packaging redesign one has to reduce the r showed in the reduce that is the r in the present context it's not just reuse reduce recycle the reduce the packaging were not needed of course then one 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 will say that package excessive packaging has been un, is needed to uh, ensure that the product does not get damaged in transit but redesigning the same packaging can produce the desired prop a desired solution for the product not getting damaged and that is what is needed now and things are being focused to that effect next please a study was done 
on you know what will it cost to replace plastics so plastics have been banned used abused beaten hated everywhere in the world and a study was done how much would it require to replace plastics in, in its form a whopping 533 bill, billion dollars would be needed to find alternatives to plastics packaging and at the same time they would lead to in a uh, higher environmental cost and effects so that one has to uh, take into mind in this that one i cannot just wish that the problem is go, to go away what is needed is finding alternatives of course but they should come at a cost and should be affordable and that should they should be you know available to the masses next please this is what is called as the life cycle analysis which is very important while making everything possible and making life green finding alternatives to plastics one has to see the life cycle analysis that is very important next please again this leads to what is a, a new concept the resources we have they go to the manufacturing facility then we consume and use them but not through that is what is called as the principle of circular economy he recycled them and also then send it back to manufacturing that is the new theme of 2020 and the new decade It's the end of one journey is the beginning of the next where the material is used in some form or another next please of course reducing consumption and waste a time you know which during the pandemic how much clothes did we need how much what, what, did it mean anything for us we were all dressed up but to go nowhere reducing reducing how that change reducing our basic needs that the pandemic taught us and reducing our consumption and thus reducing our waste that is the first thought that comes in re reducing what we don't need and reducing our wants next please reusing in the real sense we learn to reuse then the markets were not open a lot of things which were just used and thrown they were kept and reused next please and recycle that also we need and it has grown all the more important in the present times the rethinking of our, of the three hours reducing reusing and recycling they begin with you and me next please You know, here again are some scientific facts. Producing new plastics uses sixty percent of energy required to manufacture the recycled plastics. Plastic requires hundred to four hundred years to break down. Five two-liter PET bottles enough fiber fill can be made to make a sky jacket. for paper recycling about 60% of the energy used to make paper from virgin food bulk to get the amount of kilowatt hours the office used for manufacturing one ton of office and computer paper and printing one ton of paper waste saves between 15 and 17 mature trees that is what is the new thought as we learn the new normal i would say no the new new normal is past we are now in what is called as an accepted normal accept the things that are and then proceed 
That is how life has taken a, a new turn in 2020. Next, please. The recycling channel challenge. Life is not, not, not so easy when, you know, one does not know the recycling types. Oh. Not all plastics can be recycled. Oh. More importantly oh. is the fact that they cannot be mixed when they are being recycled. These slides show like how some plastics are recyclable. The PET bottles are easy to recyclable. The PVC is not easy to recycle. Polystyrene is difficult and others like multi-layer plastics where there is a packaging of uh, wafers, metal layer, plastic layer is very difficult to recycle. So it ends up being either thrown or littered or if it is collected properly, it can go to the cement factories where it is used as a fuel and in the making of robes. Next, please. Again, as I was mentioning it, you know, once we say that some plastics are recyclable, what is the economic value or the method to recycle it? That is very important. There are thousands of plastic formulations found in the market and sorting these plastics and separating them is very challenging. And also these plastics cannot be mixed when they are recycling. And the standards are not sure what constitutes single use plastics. You know, we have said that we will phase out single use plastics, but you know, we have identified a few products like earbuds and it's sold, but single use plastics are beyond that. Next, please. Single use plastics, as I said, the simple ones identified are the bottles, the bottle caps, the food wrappers, the grocery bags, the straws and the surers and the spoons, the foam and the cling film, the packaging film that is used to uh, cover the food packs while transporting. These are the recycling and the single use plastics which have now been banned in the new year and we have to phase it down by 2022 july next please smaller units sqs you know pan parag or now which is low band but it still comes and the shampoos and the oil comes in one rupee sachets there is little or no incentive to collect then there's the lack of awareness the huge cost of transportation of the plastic because it does not have weight but it is volume then uh, there is a pre absence of a comprehensive policy you know even the packaging of mineral water the mystery bottle there is no uniform packaging standards as of such you know one needs to think of that and now things are being standardized at the fssi and level where packaging is now standardized and then after everything is done then comes the implementation challenges next please it is now just that we now start with it the, uh, there is some disturbance can you please uh, uh, It's time to start with the new mantras, new mantras of looking at things in 2022. Next, please. You know, just keep on pressing the button, uh, please. Redefining plastics in a new world. That is what is in 2022. Please press, keep on pressing enter. We need to start with redesign. We need to be responsible. We need to reposition our thoughts and action. We need to resist the temptation. We need to restructure our thoughts and actions. Please and rethink. So that is how we need to redefine plastics in 2022. Redesign, being responsible, repositioning our thoughts and actions. Resisting the temptation to use single-use plastics or using plastics where not needed. Restructuring the policies and implementing them. Rethinking whether the plastics is needed, then there are bans. And that is how the whole 
system will be completed. Next, please. then plastic management is going to cost more than the littering cost that is not my 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 thought it is the united nations development program that has seen what we need is an effective waste management system the plastic circular economy as i mentioned where the waste is not a waste but a resource for other action promotion of eco-friendly alternatives most important the awareness and voluntary voluntary reduction in the use of plastics more important next please drinking straws and polythene bags maybe have where the brunt of and the uh, real single use plastics it's a sheer over reliance on them science engineering and design are shifting their focus to ecologically friendly alternatives that create circular low waste ecosystems you know going to polymer substituted like natural stars or potato or algae insulation but this comes as a cost it will be time before these resources which are replacing single-use plastics they become affordable first step what can you and me do? Refuse the plastic that not treated, reduce it and not litters. Not litter. Again, I keep on harping the same thing. Plastics do not litter. People do. Next, please. How can uh, we connect with this again together? In the pandemic, we have learned to live with amazingly a lot of less. We have had restrictions and that has helped us to evolve, rethink our strategies. Next, please. What has been done to come in compliance with the regulation and what are the new steps that have been taken? Digitizing the plastic collection systems, PROs, that is the producer responsible organizations. They are responsible for collecting the plastic back then the uh, civic bodies that is the corporations have set up a collaboration with in, in, uh, agencies to collect and manage and the, and transport the waste where plastics cannot be recycled they are sent to waste to oil uh, applications waste to road applications and the recycling industry is now being consolidated into recycling clusters. The technology will play an important part in managing the unorganized sector. Standardization, as I said, the Bureau of Indian Standards is coming out with standardization of packaging. That will help. The recyclate application. What I mean by that, you know, Maharashtra Pollution Control Board has been the first uh, pollution board in 2020, which mandated use of recycled plastics for non-food contact applications. So perhaps Amazon packaging can be, you know, some part can be used where recycled plastic can find applications. Collective EPR, meaning extenders producer responsibility, where the plastic generator or the brands, they are responsible to collect back the plastics they produce. And the plastic positive impact or the initiative where, you know, you reduce your plastic consumption and make an impact. That has to be done in 2022. Next week, next please. What is the future of plastics? We learned to live with a lot less, you know, living out of a micro house or house that is sufficient for very few people. But density in Japan, where the, the number of people, we live in frugality. We live in houses made of plastics, you know, alternate materials. That is the future. Next, please. You know, we did a small thing. I had the privilege of covering the entire length and breadth of this country and traveled four years and during that time collected 200,000 plastic bottles 
one liter plastic bottles and we made a guinness world record of the world's largest t-shirt made from 100 percent plastic bottles this t-shirt was awarded the guinness certificate on 5th of jan 2018 post this feat this plastic bottles rather the t-shirt was cut into 10,000 small t-shirts and distributed to underprivileged children the message was if one liter six bottles are not littered they can be used to clothe a child and that is the beauty of plastics polyester as we knew know it now and has been in wrong for a long time is nothing but polyethylene toilet toilet and recycled to convert to polyester and that is the new way of looking at things recycling or upscaling next please You know, what are the drivers and uh, economics of the packaging as we evolve in 2022? There are the regulator compliances, which is the very much needed in the terms of pandemic. The reusability quotient, the cost effectiveness and the environmental friendly nature. These all things are needed to be seen in a holistic manner for packaging. Then one needs to see how the waste picker's livelihood can be increased by you know, helping them to collect material, which will give them a better price. And the value of the PCR, PCR here refers to plastic content, which is recycled. You know, uh, if you send the plastics for burning in a cement kiln, which acts for giving the calorific value, there is no value to that waste. But if it is recycled, it gives 60 rupees value and can it can be used as a raw material again. So this is a driving factor to make our system rechange in 2022. And that fact begins with, you know, re conservation of the resources and recycling them. Next, please. A lot of companies have embraced sustainability and packaging. You know, PepsiCo's and uh, any companies, just an example, they are going to design 100% recyclable, compostable or biodegradable packaging by 2025. Reduce the packaging by 20 and, you know, use 25% packaging in the recycling, recycle content by 2025, increasing the recycle content and they are partnering with a number of organizations to manage equivalent of 100% of packaging what they put in the market to try and collect that. You know, here it is, uh, it is worthwhile to mention that PepsiCo does not need to pick up its own packaging. It can collect their competitors packaging, but the volume or the weight, it should be, this is brand neutral. So that is the part of EPR, extended producer's responsibility, where whatever you produce, you pick back. But it may, it may, may not be your brand. It can be other brand. Next, please. <coughs> nice, simple things to make simple things happen. Segregate. <coughs> Segregation at source. A much can be achieved. A much simple act of segregation of wet and dry to begin with can give effective ways of segregation of the dry waste also which will add value to the recycling next please and again comes the story of r's but the r's keep on changing the r's keep on changing their meaning to achieve the goals that we have reducing the amount of plastics we used Recycling the plastics that we buy, and most important, reinventing our plastic packaging. Plastic packaging has to be reinvented. Where you know design concepts, collection concepts, reusable concepts that have to be thought of. Next, please. Next, please. Repositioning again. That's where we have to think and act. 
again next please the points to pander at this stage we have always overestimated the change that will occur in the next two years and underestimated the ch change that will occur in the next 10 the decade there we say this decade will be of you know managing our waste and we have overestimated the things and we life was much much simpler and everyone was rushing but the pandemic put a break to all our thoughts and our overestimation of what we did for 2021 and 2020 it all went back and at the same time the problems have increased and we are derailed in our thoughts and actions yeah. so one has to see and keep things at its pace and manage the resources and manage the waste next please Now I'm going to talk about some regulations that the regulatory development happened in making the plastic waste management rules. It all started in 2014 when the Prime Minister announced from the ramparts of the four pole, four of the Red Fort, the Swachh Bharat Mission. There, for the first time, you know, importance was given to making this country independent of waste. You know, and we have to get independence out of waste its management came 2016 and the plastic waste management rules were formulated where a direction was given to the old uh, rules and consolidated to give the plastic waste management rules and in 2017 there was an increased focus on the implementation of these rules and in 2018 with the, when the world environment day was celebrated in india with India as the whole host country in New Delhi, our Prime Minister made a epoch-making announcement that we will have a mission to phase out single-use plastics by four years. And in 2022, we are committed to that, to phase out the single-use plastics. Next, please. Next, please. <laughs> Going green, as I said, you know, there's plastics which cannot be recycled or which cannot be used. They are making <coughs> into the roads. And this has been mandated by the road authorities, the Ministry of Road Transport, that 50 kilometers in the direction of the municipal corporation, the roads need to have to be made of plastics. Their use. Next, please. advantages of those plastics in those roads you know reduction in the use of bitumen the strength has been increased there is no effect of radiation of those plastics there is no stripping there is no potholes or there is no leaching this is a remarkable uh, example of tatas being used the tatas have made a road in their areas. This is four or five years ago and wonderfully being used in Jamshedpur. That is the correct way of using the unusable plastics. Next, please. Now, uh, all said and done, you know, what is recycling in the real sense? Some people say recycling and call it upscaling or downscaling. Or some people say that recycling means to convert the waste into a reusable material. Reuse, reprocess, reclaim, recover, or convert into something that to return to previous stage in the cyclic process. So that recycling can be for you know fuel conversion to energy for plastics that is not uh, easy to uh, manage or not to process or convert it into a useful product are plastics that can be used, but the definition of recycling is changed. Next, please. According to the new definition of recycling, plastics must meet four conditions for a product to be considered a recyclable. The product must be made with a plastic that is collected for recycling. Look at the basic definition change now. The 
for a plastic to be recycled like label they it should be able to be collected it should have a market value value attached to it and is supported by a mandated legislator the law attached to it law collection and cost that is the new definition of recyclability the plastic must be sorted and aggregated for recycling the products must be processed with commercial recycling processes here we are talking about recycling commercial which has a commercial value not making losses and finally it becomes a raw material that is used in the production of new products that is a epoch making definition of <clears throat> recycling and as issued by the association of plastic recyclers and europe in a statement of july 2018 recycling <coughs> redefined next please uh these are the various recycling methods i'm not going to cover it because it is going to be covered in the in the course ahead Me wait mechanical recycling that is converting to granules for reuse then uh to profile extrusion making products out of uh, plastics by extruding it converting to fuel or converting to energy or being added to road construction or being added to cement kiln or boiler where the calorific value of the coal that is augmented by these plastics and less use of the coal next please this post consumer flexible packaging see how things have made a difference you know how adulteration and agriculture you know waste and how it is littered but what needs is washing and what needs is uh, the supermarkets have the plastics with the contamination that need to be redefined and that need to be taken care of next please again the plastics which is coming this is contaminated that is very bad for the uh, system where contaminated plastics is not easy to recycle next please and mixed indian waste with the various contaminants and we expect that you know we recycle them very difficult in the present circumstances next please and a general process here we have to first sort then wash then extrude or put it in a machine and then you know the uh, granules used for injection molding that are made for in products this is very simple method of a post consumer waste cycle how to recycle that next please it is very important to note here that we need to have good quality and good technology plants you know technology is available but we cannot use the yesterday's technology for meeting tomorrow's uh, needs where we are talking about increasing the recyclability increasing the uh, efficiency reducing the power cost so that will come at a cost where good technology need to be used for making the plastics next please here is an example about an old uh, technology and a new technology see how much uh, cost difference is there the power consumption 10 rupees and 3.7 rupees i will not go much into details but see what modern machinery even though the uh, investment may be low but in the long run this uh is going to you know reduce the power and the give a, a excellent payback periods next please <coughs> this is the way of intelligent working you know sorting this is with uh, 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 this is happening in some parts of india too where you know the uh, the labels there on the plastic bottles they are uh, made intelligent and a laser beam is 
fast in the recycling process where it identification of the labels is done by fluorescent marking various colors used to sort out the bottles and other products that is the technology of today next please moving forward saving the emissions reducing our footprints reusing the plastics in the application saved making compostable plastics packaging for the metal to plastic re, uh, replacement that is the future and technology unlocking unlocking technology by using efficient machines next please this is the technology those shredded plastics being made into granules that is the future that is 2022 and beyond next please again this is the circular economy uh, which has been presented in the slide where the waste nothing is waste but it is recycled and growing going to the chain again as a product for Nothing is waste. The waste from one process is the raw material or another. That is the truly a circular economy process. Next, please. There is now talk of using products made from 100% recyclable plastics. Recycled plastics. The government of India and the food uh, FSSIA, the apex body of the food uh, standards, they are now coming up with recycling standards. If we are, are able to have good quality of materials, they can be used for 100% food contact applications in the near future. For that, what one needs is good quality plastics. That is very much there. And this is not a dream, but is already being done in the foreign countries where food contact applications, even for waters, and let me tell you, even for feeding bottles for the babies, they are made from 100% plastics that have been recycled. So babies and plastics. Which mother would give a bottle of recycled plastics to feed her child? That is the power of the new age recycling and looking at plastics in a better way. Next, please. Here are the you know, unorganized recycling sectors in India. They are, uh, you know, almost every nook and corner of the country has mm -hmm. these recycling clusters. What the government is doing is now, you know, uh, getting this informalized sector to follow certain rules and will help them take technology with better resources to turn them into good quality plastic manufacturers. And that has the important thing of today. India has the highest recycling rates. We recycle up to 60% of our waste. That's the beauty of India. Our recycling standards, our recycling have to improve, but our recycling rates are good. That is the culture what we are made of. Next, please. Trends for India, as I said, bottle to bottle recycling, <laughs> meaning a water bottle, again, for the water bottle, bottle to sheet for the applications and bottle to preform recycling, making bottles for other applications from recycled PET bottles. India has a recycling rate of 90% for its PET bottles, and that is amazing. Next, please. The recycled plastics opportunity. Look at this. It is, you know, eight point billion industry you know that with global commitments and regulations technology this re recycle plastics will compete with the virgin plastics that is the beauty of recycling where the virgin 
uh, materials will be slowly replaced by the recycled materials, opening new avenues and also uh, initially the cost may, might come costly because of the recycling content being used, but that will see it is a time before this can be solved. Next, please. There is one very important thing to be not, uh, no, uh, remembered. There is difference between recyclability and recycled content. Recyclability refers to how many times that a product can be uh, recycled, how many times that plastic can be recycled. And the recycled content is uh, uh, adding a certain portion of the recycled plastic to the virgin material. So when, when we talk of recycled content, it is deferred from the recyclability that is the how many times that it can be recycled and that is very important in the times ahead next please extended producer's responsibility as i said designing for recycling is meaningless if the packaging is collected is not collected and sorted out sorting is needed collection is needed and that begins with you and me while giving our plastics, which is dried and not contaminated. Next, please. He realized the importance of the waste warriors who have been the backbone of our support system during the pandemics. And they are part of the frontline workers who faced the pandemic and collected our waste. They contributed their part. And look how they were showered with flowers in some place. Next, please. The possibilities of advanced recycling. Look at this, the, uh, you know, creating next to virgin products from these recycled uh, materials, next to virgin like packaging for food contact applications. Those uh, opportunities are unlimited. Next, please. People doing their part for making planet better. Planet first, people later, profit more later, and plastics. Keeping our planet or, or in the mind and in action. Profits will come and everyone thinks for the planet. Next, please. There is a digital startup by the name of Recycle, who are India's first waste commerce company. They are digitizing the uh, waste and giving it traceability. Like we have an e-commerce company, they are a waste commerce company. Waste in the uh, near future will be traded on the uh, National Stock Exchange. That is the opportunity of waste. Next, please. Innovations are alternative. You know, we, we are talking here of seaweed for packaging. And all this is being at the experimental level, but it will not be far away where we have the natural resources for packaging available. Next, please. It, again, as I said about this company, digitizing waste, it is setting up a marketplace for the stakeholders to come together, a portal like a GST where stakeholders can come together and trade their waste. And uh, EPR, meaning uh, the producer organizations, they can be, uh, you know, have a traceability and a balance here when everything is digi digitized and there will be no hanky panky when things are done. Next, please. Digitizing the waste worker, waste picker, see her mobile phone has that power of seeing the prices she will get for the various categories of plastic she, she collects. Next, please. Again, winning that marketplace, how the various stakeholders will come together and see this on one dashboard next please <coughs> a 
a wonderful example in Hyderabad, the street vendors, they have been given, uh, uh, you know, uh, dwellings or other uh, points which are made from recycled plastics. This is the classic case in Hyderabad. The recycled plastics have used to cover and make a, a shed for them. Next, please. Products made from MLP, multi-layer film, as I, as I said, is not recycled, but now technology is available to make multi-layer packages being converted for applications, even like screws. That is the beauty of the new technology. Next, please. A startup in Pune, uh, you know, banners of plastics that have also been banned the flex that person he collected 80,000 kgs of this and converted into bags a social enterprise a wonderful opportunity for the entrepreneur to you know upscale that plastic and upscale that product which has been banned next please again made from mlp recycled products wonderful as they are you know, products which are not only of decorative but of engineering applications used next please the in thing of fashion adidas has made shoes from 100 plastic bottles that is the future of the recycled plastics plastics coming in fashion next please Plastics used in making tiles for footpaths. The world's first dam made from plastic waste in Sangli and bags made, made from uh, recycled plastics. These are not bags for common use, but for storing materials. This is the beauty of those plastics. Next, please. Tiles made from 100% MLP, as I said. The tiles that are used for decoration, the tiles that are used for protection. That is the in thing. Next, please. Then we come to a new category of compostable or plastics that can be biodegradable. This is the new development. Next, please. More examples of products like benches and compounds being made out of plastics. Next, please. This is a classic example of how recycled plastics have been used for a common application. Trodat is a world leader in rubber stamps based out of Austria, and they uh, and they control almost. 60% of the world's uh, self-inking uh, rubber stamps, uh, plastic stamps. These plastic stamps are made from recycled plastics. Here, the compromise on quality has not been made, but at the same time, recycling has shown how it has different applications. Next, please. These are the bags that I mentioned from ocean plastics, plastics which has been littered on the oceans, they are brought out and cut and made better and upscaled. Next, please. Rewards for actions, a school somewhere rewarding the children for their work, for their collecting plastics. Some put, you put the plastic bottle into the machine and out comes something that is to encourage the recycling and collection systems. Next, please. The pandemic has seen the masks to certain excess and these guides. These were made from plastics, a classic example. Made from recycled plastics. Next, please. 
is shields I'm talking of. Next, please. CD waste, which has been recycled into plastics. That is the beauty of plastics. Next, please. A fisherman care in Kerala during the pandemic. Look how much plastic he collected from the backwaters. That is the commitment. No one told him, but he did. That is the commitment of you and me. That should be it. Doing our part for a better environment and not littering. Next, please. Littering, it begins with a single step. And oh, 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 what a mess. We begin that mess. Next, please. You know, setting up community centers like we have the uh, collection centers for the uh, waste, what we say as the paper, the Raddiwala. We can, uh, collection centers for plastics are being made uh, at various places. Next, please. The new normal. A balance where sustainability, health, hygiene, and technology, a balance has to be done and see how the recycling plastics and plastics have to play their part in the in health hygiene in the new normal. Next, please. Next, please. A wonderful thing done by an Indian soldier in the world's first bulletproof wall made from plastic waste and tested in Indian Army. That is the beauty of plastics. An AK-47 bulletproof wall, that AK-47 bullet fired and it did not penetrate. That is the beauty of plastics not littered. Next, please. No, a, a robo has been made in Mumbai from uh, plastics. That is the beauty of this plastics. I'm covering up fast because the time is less. The share, the slides will be shared to you. Next, please. You know how rack pickers have to be given that human touch. Technologies will be there, but being human is more important in our these times. Next, please. Again, what would happen if each week we thought a little more and we kept doing really what we wanted by reducing our waste? That is important in our times. Next, please. We know how popular indoor has been and their indoor model of plastic waste management is also for worth following up. Next, please. Here is how the plastic waste uh, rules evolution came and the latest plastic waste amendment rules where uh, more emphasis is raised and fines will be imposed if this is not done properly. That has been coming 2021. Next, please. You know, as I said about the circular economy, it will give rise to a number of jobs. It will give rise to remanufacturing. That is the important of uh, plastic and a circular economy. Next, please. One has to place our eco and ego together and see what is better in the long run. All species are interdependent, so taking care of our resources is essential for the human being prosperity. Please press the slide. Everything will come at the cost of eco and ego. Then, uh, next please. And here are the customer viewpoints of uh, future of packaging, where biodegradable plastics will see a future, and how uh, recyclable bottles will also play a 
important part, but plastics will continue to play their part. Next, please. Customers' viewpoint on hygiene and safety. This is very, very important. Plastics, importance of plastics become more uh, uh, visible in the pandemic times. Next, please. Again, it's all uh, coming together of various stakeholders for making, making, making that sustainable grid. Their government, experts, people, entrepreneurs, innovators, investors, influence come together. Next, please. Quality. Quality and quality. Good quality plastics will be needed. Good quality uh, recyclable plastics will be needed and consumer awareness will increase Con consumers will expect more degradable or biodegradable packaging next please the plastic recycling market is to attain a market size of 53.7 billion dollars by the end of 2023 in india we are talking about India. Look at the opportunity here. Next, please. You know, it's a story of rack pickers. We need to treat them more human. And can we really live without them? Next, please. The World Environment Day 2021 is about reimagine, recreate, and restore. We are talking about an ecosystem where, you know, we are talking about a decade where all the people come together for ecosystem restoration. And this is the decade of restoration. Hello. Next, please. Sir, I'm sorry. No, sir. Sorry? Okay. In short, plastic is there. One has to manage it properly. Next, please. A circular economy, as I said, making all plastics is recovered, its value is captured instead of ending up buried in somewhere. Next, please. We, when we talk of environment sustainability, sustainability is the responsibility to conserve natural resources. And so also it is the case with plastics. One has to see at plastics in sustaining our environment. Next, please. American Council uh, of Chemistry says that expanding the recycling will need to include all packaging, including non-recyclable for redesigning or converting back into other products. Responsible care. Next, please. Sustainability, a problem of how it is related to how we handle our increasing desire for the consumption. Can technology alone be sufficient to address the problem of converting limited resources to meet the unlimited demand of humanity? It is not a question of technology alone. Human, human being is responsible. Next, please. The way I had regulation of production and consumption, eco-design, increasing the demand for recycled plastics, reducing the unnecessary use of plastics, using of renewable energy, the responsibility for the producers to collect back the plastic, prioritization on recycling, use of bio-based materials, improving the recyclability, and reusing digital technology. That is going to be important. Next, please. Economic growth and sustainability will go hand in hand. But for that, one has to be proactive and including everyone in the growth and sustainability. Next, please. Sustainability is a complex and a wicked problem. For every complex problem, there is a simple answer, and it is invariably wrong. One has to think of sustainability that way. You know, it is always a difficult choice, but it has to happen somewhere as at the cost of not 
creating more problems for the planet. We cannot just simplify a problem and make while making sustainability a way of life. We are bound to make mistakes, but balance has to be struck before making sustainability possible. Next, please. Sustainability is again, as I said, not a problem of science and technology. We do not have all the tools and the discipline process. So we hear the a lot of things been done, but we have to be cautious here while dealing with things. Next, please. As I come towards the end of my presentation, now, how nature teaches sustainability. There is a drop of water on a leaf and 12 ants are drinking from it. They have divided themselves into four groups each to balance that leaf so that the drop of water will not slide off the leaf. Wonders of nature. That is the cooperative behavior. The resource sharing, most important, the self-enforced order, frugality that never cease to amaze us. A lot that we can hear and learn from nature in sustainability. Next, please. The issue of plastic waste will not be fixed in this decade. This is not my, uh, um, my, my rule, but it is a, a research carried out by Lux. This outlook for, you know, the various industries will be linked. One has to be, uh, major gaps will remain in the plastic sustainability and one has to all work together to making things sustainable. This is very important as we go in 2022 and beyond. Next, please. Remembering simple things in life, keeping life simple to make things simpler and not complica complicating it. Next, please. What, as we come at crossroads, what would all do governments to set the targets and the rules, businesses doing their designing processes and uh, taking the responsibility, organizations purchase products that are sustainable, scientists exploring the frontiers and concepts that give us new alternatives for a prosperous human life and homo sapiens preserving the environment we share polluting that what we see to reduce that and using our strength to buy only what is needed and being a guardian of our planet for a better sustainable life next please again in conclusion it's circular economy where all people are doing their own work. Let's come together to help India become a global leader in circular economy. Next, please. Thank you for this references. And last slide. Next, please. Tarak Mehta ka ulta chashma ye serial coffee popular hey we have to see this through an eye through a spectacle of environment and balancing our ego and our ego together thank you thank you for a patient hearing thank you I'll, <laughs> I'll request all the participants if anyone is having any kind of uh, queries then you can ask see there is a there is a, some question about uh, uh, tiles uh, 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 this technology is there there are some uh, issues I will uh, I will request uh, Pratik to please contact me. The organizers can give you my email ID. I will connect you the person who will help you to uh, uh, perhaps solve your issue. Yes, anyone else? 
having any kind of queries i'm putting my email id in the chat box yes sir. Any, anyone has any queries they can write to me directly and i would request madam to please share the uh ppt is i'll say sir yeah yeah yes sir i'll say i hope i have been able to uh, create a platform sorry my email is wrong please ignore that i have to recorrect it i hope i have been able to set a, a stepping stone for the course ahead yes sir yes thank you so much yes sir thank I, you sir i will just spell out my email again joshi j o s h i s a m e e r a at gmail dot com thank you sir it's a very good presentation and all participants or faculties all our respected faculties uh, joined this session from the degree engineering colleges or uh, universities uh, work, uh, yeah, our uh, diploma colleges from there only all the faculties joined so they got benefited and all are giving their feedback in the chat box itself we thank you sir and uh, we acknowledge the nice presentation it's a nice pre session sir sir uh, you are uh, <laughs> sir you are uh, the most well, uh, renowned person in our country so we are very much thankful to be with us and sparing up your valuable time and uh, sharing your knowledge and expertise your experience your uh, um, contributions to the society as a social being we are always looking forward for the society how best we are helpful to the society that is only our life what you are doing thank you sir thanks thank you. a lot thank you sir thank you everybody awesome. thank you okay so we will close the session yeah dr santoshi we will close yes. the session yes yes all and the participants the... please join for next session at 2:30 now we'll have our this break then the next session will start at 2:30 okay we will share the feedback link to all the participants okay participants are asking the feedback link we will share share it to them okay yes sir kashmir okay. also joined for this session okay thank you so 230 we will join 230 which presentation Dr. Santosh. Sir, sir. Prasant. Huh? Prasant Kumar Gupta, sir. Okay. Ha, so, from MIT. Ha, Maharashtra. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Just put a call to him. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In between, I'll I'll give a call. He will be joining around two uh, two fifteen or two thirty. Two thirty, I will join. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Thank, thank. Okay. Have a lunch break. Thank you.